Polynomial division only requires longer synthetic division when factoring is not an option. Try to divide each of the following polynomials by factoring first, using longer synthetic division as a backup. In part A, we'll divide x squared minus 5x plus 6 by x minus 3. Factor x squared minus 5x plus 6 to get x minus 3 times x minus 2. Cancel out x minus 3 from the numerator and denominator. The result of the division is x minus 2. We have the restriction that x cannot equal 3 since we divided by x minus 3. Now we'll move on to part b. Divide 6x minus 4 by 3x minus 2. Rewrite the division as a fraction. Factor out 2 from the numerator to get 2 times 3x minus 2 over 3x minus 2. Cancel out 3x minus 2 from the numerator and denominator. The result of the division is 2. We have the restriction that x cannot equal 2 over 3 since we divided by 3x minus 2. In part c, we'll divide x to the power of 4 minus 16 by x squared plus 4. We write the division as a fraction. x to the power of 4 minus 16 is a difference of squares. Factor to get x squared plus 4 times x squared minus 4. Cancel out x squared plus 4 from the numerator and denominator. The result of the division is x squared minus 4. There are no restrictions on the variable since the denominator will never become 0. In part d, we'll divide x cubed plus 2x squared minus 3x by x minus 3. Factor out x from the numerator. Factor x squared plus 2x minus 3 to get x minus 1 times x plus 3. This can't be divided by factoring. Let's use synthetic division instead. Remember to use a zero as a placeholder for the constant column. Bring down the one. One times negative three equals negative three. Subtract. 2 minus negative 3 equals 5. Five times negative 3 equals negative 15. Subtract. Negative 3 minus negative 15 equals 12. Twelve times negative 3 equals negative 36. Subtract. 0 minus negative 36 equals 36. x cubed plus 2x squared minus 3x divided by x minus 3 equals x squared plus 5x plus 12 plus 36 over x minus 3. We have the restriction that x cannot equal 3.